Thanks for staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam. Once again, seeing lots of hazy skies across the area, but we're also seeing lots of sunshine. That's allowed us to warm up quite nicely today. A rather warm day out there, almost hot, and we're going to see some hot conditions as we head through the weekend. Right now, 86 degrees with mostly sunny skies and some hazy conditions. Winds out of the south at 11. We'll continue out of the south 5 to 15 miles per hour as we head through the rest of the evening, slowly subsiding overnight tonight. 82 Thief River Falls in Roseau, 86 in Detroit Lakes, the warm spot, 87 degrees up in Grand Forks, 84 over in Oaks, also 84 Valley City, Devils Lake and Langdon. We're going to throw in a couple more 84s in Fergus Falls and in Wadena. On the satellite, most of the area seeing some clear skies, but off towards the southwest, we are seeing a few clouds bubble on up and beneath those clouds, we are seeing a few isolated showers and storms. They're southwest of our area, but they may creep on up into parts of North Dakota. We may see one or two more of these develop in the Southern Valley as we head through the evening hours and maybe a few more as we head towards tomorrow morning as some more warmer and moister air starts to try and make its way off towards the north. We've got some showers and storms making their way through South Dakota and even parts of Nebraska and zooming on out to the national map. Lots of rain scattered across much of the country. Northern Rockies seeing some showers and storms. Southern Rockies some showers and even some severe storms across parts of Arizona, New Mexico. Some severe storms in eastern Kansas, southeastern Missouri, and even a few down in the state of Georgia. For us, we've got the quiet weather right now, but again, it's going to become more active as we head through the overnight hours and through the weekend. This model showing a few showers in the uh, Fargo-Moorhead area. I think it's overdoing it. I think these are going to be a little bit further south, any of those showers and storms that do develop. Overnight tonight, temperature is not going to drop off that much. Most areas dropping down only into the 60s to right around 70 degrees. By tomorrow morning, we're going to start to see some moisture make its way off towards the north. And as it continues to move off towards the north, it'll give us a chance for some showers and some thunderstorms. Any storms that do form tomorrow could be on the strong side. It looks like the best chance Early on, we'll be over in parts of Minnesota. Later on, we'll have more redeveloping in our western and southwestern counties making their way across the area. Even more storms possible as we head through the day on a Sunday. That forecast in detail for the Fargo area, yeah, 70, that's about it. A rather mild morning low. Hazy conditions throughout the day tomorrow. By the noontime hour, warming on up into the low 80s. And by the end of the day, we're going to be right around 90 degrees. We could see an isolated shower or storm. The better chances will show up tomorrow night and on into the day on Sunday. Here's a look at that seven day forecast, including a look at your weekend. Hot over the weekend, mid 90s on Sunday. It's going to be hot, it's going to be muggy, it's going to be hazy, and we'll have that chance for some showers and storms. And we could see some severe weather as we head through the day on Sunday. So keep it tuned to the latest forecast. Also keep it tuned for the chance of some more smoke making its way onto the area as we head through the first part of the week. Chance for storms on Monday and then again. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with continued warm temperatures, but slightly cooler than the air we will see over the weekend. That is a look at your forecast. Time now to head out to Shields Arena with Hutch Johnson and the arrival of the Wheel of Fortune Wheelmobile. We're excited out here. I got to tell you what, here at Shields Arena, Valley News Live and our sponsors, the Shooting Star Casino, are welcoming America's favorite game show. What's it called again? <laughs> uh, yeah, Marty Lubin joins us now. You're kind of the uh, tra traveling Pat Sajak, is that right? That is my job. This is the first step of a two-step process. They got to get by me and Morgan, our traveling Vanna. Well, and she's over here already. We got a little puzzle action going on. But tell us a little bit about why people should come out. First of all, it's a fun game to watch, but uh, you can actually get out here and play a little bit. It's a fun game to play also. This is the first step of a two-step process. Everyone who shows up here this weekend, fills out an application. We call five names to the stage at a time. We're going to interview you guys. We need to see a lot of personality on this stage. Then we're going to run you through the game. We need to see that you're a good game player. If you shine on stage, if you show us the qualities we're looking for, you get invited to a final audition, you do well there, you're on the show, and you got a shot at $1 million. Hutch. That sounds exciting, and I know the FM area can produce some fine contestants. You get a spin the wheel, but, but you know, right now I'm looking at this puzzle, and Morgan, i got to say, I think I need an L. I need an L. Is Can I get an L? Okay, now I was never really all that good at spelling, better at math and science really, but I'm going to go with solving the puzzle. Can I solve the puzzle? Feel free to solve all right. the puzzle. Uh, I'm going to go with Valley News Live. That is correct. Woo! Yeah, all right. Well, more cowbell on that. And Morgan, 
Well, tell me a little bit about this. Do you have fun meeting people at all the places that you go? It's so much fun. Just to see their excitement and enthusiasm, it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, it's a good reason to get out this weekend. Shields Arena, both Saturday and Sunday. What time? It's at 1 to 5. 1 to 5. One to five. It was a trick question. That happens from time to time. So from Shields Arena, meteorologist Hutch Johnson and the Wheel of Fortune gang here to uh, liven things up this weekend. Step on out, have some fun with the Wheel of Fortune crew here at Shields Arena. Looking awesome, Hutch. Thanks. I think they need to give him a tougher puzzle. I, I think so, too, and I wonder how much he won for that. Mm, I, don't I don't know. know. We'll find out. Hopefully he shares it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, well, coming up next, G